It has been exactly one month since we started fixing this Rush Base account. Technically, it would be episode eight of this series. And according to the Clash Ninja website, supposedly is day 31. I don't really know how that happened, but it doesn't matter. How are you guys doing out there, my Clash of Clans friends? I hope you are well. And if you're not, I hope it gets better. So let's take a look at our broken account that we've been working on for the last month. By the way, I did keep the base that you saw on day one. So let's go ahead and do a little comparison between the two. And I know it's not really like the most greatest, you know, improvements and fixes on the base that you had hoped, but it's only been one month and a lot of stuff has happened in that month. So you'll notice the walls. That's like the number one thing that you see right off the bat. And we did make some progress in the levels there. But this month was Clash of Clans birthday or the 12th anniversary of the game's existence. And there was actually something in the game that was really kind of unnoticeable when it came to working on improvements on your bases, regardless of your town hall level. We had the Clash Versary, Building Bonanza. For the duration of this event, all building upgrades in Home Village and Builder Base will require 12% less time to complete. Happy 12th Clash Versary. Now, I didn't really notice this in conjunction to our Gold Pass, but it was there, and it does reflect in the data when we get to the end of this video. So the things that we did upgrade in the last month is we focused mostly on our storages. Uh, more importantly, our elixir storages because they were like level one and level two when we first started a month ago. And then we also added two levels to our gold storages. Now, the plan for these is that I'm not going to invest a builder or for the length of the upgrade of these buildings because right now, even with the 20% boost, we have eight days and 12 hours for these upgrades. Now that might change when the 12 percent wears off or whatever, but we're more than likely going to use books of building or books of everything to finish these off. And I know that that might seem like a little bit of a waste to you, but I'm tired of investing builder time to these buildings and I want to get them over with. That way, when we use runes, we get the most capacity and we don't have to wait on these to upgrade anymore. Now we're currently working on upgrading the Dark Elixir storage. It's going to level nine, which is going to help us as we start transitioning into hero upgrades in the upcoming month. Well, I kind of just gave away some of the video right there, huh? Yeah. So we're gonna be investing our time, at least four builders into upgrading heroes starting next month or starting next week, if you will, because I mentioned in the last video that we don't really have like this endless supply of hero potions. And these levels do matter in conjunction to the hero equipment levels. And honestly, even though you boost the levels of your hero equipment without the levels of the heroes, they're still kind of useless. So we're gonna be focusing in on those. now. We also put a lot of time into upgrading our army camps because I know in the back of my mind that I'm going to start working on hero upgrades, which means that I won't have them available hardly at all. And we need to increase the size of our army. That way we can continue to grind resources, keep those heroes down and possibly go into clan war leagues and try to get some hammers there, probably by using sneaky goblins. <laughs> I don't know. We'll see how it works out. I'll see how my clan intends for me to do that because I don't really know if that's going to be effective or not because defensively, well, you know that this base is obviously getting wrecked since we're up in Champions League. So we got uh, all the army camps going to level 11 at the moment. They will have one more level to go, which also should probably be a book of building or a book of everything to finish those off. The moral of the story here is that as we get into those levels that are more town hall 15 and Town Hall 16 levels. We need magic items to finish them off because they are really long upgrades. And we have so many other things on this base that need to be upgraded for a much shorter time. Also, we did upgrade our laboratory to Town Hall 13's level 11 laboratory. We need to increase its level because we can no longer upgrade certain things like the goblin and the wall breaker. We upgraded the spell factory to level six. It has one more level, but I'm really not too concerned about that because that unlocks the recall call spell, which I very rarely use. And then we also upgraded the dark spell factory to level three to unlock the haste, like we showed you a few videos back. And I believe that was pretty much it. Oh yeah, the barracks to level five. We need to upgrade the barracks and the dark barracks to unlock things like, I don't know, the root rider, <laughs> because that's like the troop that's super OP in the game anyways. We did, however, 
unlock a few options in the super troops department. We have the super barbarian, the super archer now apparently, and the sneaky goblin and super wall breaker. Obviously the two components that I'll be using a lot during this series will be sneaky goblin and super wall breaker, but we might change it up and use super barb and, and super archer here and there. So this one right here is super triggering. I know that everybody out there is probably losing their mind because they're seeing an idle lab. It just finished a few moments ago i used a potion to finish it off so that archer is now level eight which unlocked the super archer but we also need to spend off i think a book of spells so we're going to go ahead and upgrade our invisibility spell to the maximum level of level four 7.2 and we're going to go ahead and use a book to finish that off so now we have two spells within the last month that are fully maxed the invisibility as well as the haste spell the jump spell finished earlier it's level four but we need to increase our lab level two more times to upgrade it again and then obviously we need to upgrade um whatever troops we have left until we unlock others or increase the level of our lab. So let's go ahead and put the archer back down for now. It is what it is. Uh, I guess we can go ahead and spend off a book of fighting since we do have one in our season pass that we need to claim. And I guess the only other option here would be the giants, which I think the giant sucks, but <laughs> that's just my opinion, you know? So we're gonna go ahead and upgrade our rage spell. We'll let that one go. And I guess we can go ahead and upgrade, I don't know. <laughs> maybe the heal spell i suppose it is what it is uh we're gonna go ahead and use 10 gems from the uh goblin builder and uh, allow those to go we're not going to activate any potions because there are only a couple of hours of upgrades and we'll have something to do later on um also in regards to the goblin builder i shifted its attention from those more expensive upgrades because of how much it costs to activate the goblin builder so i did use the goblin builder to upgrade the cannon that way we could actually do the gear up so now we have the gear up complete here as well but that required the master builder from the builder base we upgraded the archer tower to level 10 to do the gear up but we still need to unlock the level six archer tower on the builder base and then we also upgraded the mortar to level eight but we also need to upgrade the mortar or the multi-mortar on the builder base to level eight to complete the gear up all right, so since the Goblin Builder costs so much on those high-end upgrades and the fact that I believe we have like one more week by the time you see this video, a few more days with that thing available in the game, we're gonna continue to use that on relatively cheap upgrades. Like right now I have it on the Dark Elixir Drill because I think it was like 10 gems to get that started. But I believe we might actually shift that. Once that concludes, we might take it over to a hero instead because again, they're really really cheap and it might not cost a lot of gems to get one of those going and get that process started because what's going to actually happen is we have five builders or five actual builders if you take away the goblin builder and i'm going to finish up with these army camps and put four builders on the heroes themselves and then the fifth builder is probably going to be used to upgrade things like the laboratory maybe the barracks we might even do a few levels on something like the eagle artillery or the monolith or something like that just to go ahead and get some levels there because those high-end defenses really do throw off players that are rushed i mean those are the ones that give me problems at least because we were using what was it the mecca for a while to complete the event and then i switched from the mecca just back into the sneaky goblin army to complete my star bonus which i think our star bonus has actually increased the amount of ore that we're we're claiming because we are in Champions League. And I'm trying my best to stay up here, but sometimes it gets to a point where I'm not finding any resources and it gets really enticing to drop back down, but we'll see how it plays out over the next couple of weeks. All right, so the last thing that we really focused in on upgrading was inside of the pet house. And it wasn't necessarily an ideal pet to upgrade because I would much rather upgrade things like Unicorn, Diggy, Phoenix, Spirit Fox, because those are the items that are being used most by town hall 15 and 16 players anyways but we didn't have the levels on the pet house itself nor those pets unlocked so we really focused in on the electro owl for right now and it's currently going to level nine so um, we're going to continue to upgrade that until we get some levels on the pet house so that fifth builder might actually go towards the pet house but those are really really long upgrades and that might 
require the use of books that I don't have. You start to see the dilemma here is that these high-end upgrades like the storages, the army camps going to the max level, all of the things that are Town Hall 16 that require so much time, either I have to start a building upgrade and wait almost two weeks, or I just, you know, get it to the highest level I can and shift my builders elsewhere and just wait until I have the magic items to complete those upgrades. It's just a trade-off. It's one of those things when it comes to how much money are you willing to spend in the game and how much time are you going to wait it out? So that's just where we're at when it comes to building upgrades, laboratory. And we've also been working on the builder base. I will show it because um, it's, it's starting to come along. Right now we're in the rush process of the builder base targeting the six builder. I'm not gonna get into any details because this is another video in itself, but right now the builder hall is level seven and we're currently waiting on on the army camp to finish. I think that's the sixth army camp right there. And we also need the resources to start the upgrade on the builder hall to level eight. And then obviously we need to take it to level nine. It's a process in itself. And right now we don't really have any resources anyways, where I think I could just go ahead and start the archer tower to level four, but then that decreases my gold. And it's just, gosh, it's just one thing after another. You have to trade off, uh, wait it out, or just force yourself to do upgrades that you really don't want to do in the first place. So let's go ahead and take a look at the data that's actually really, really interesting regarding the Clash Ninja website. So remember that website's used to track your base progress. And so on day one, when it came to our completion status, we really didn't have a lot of anything. We had 2% on structures and zero all the way down. We updated this information this morning and we have some slight increases, more so on the pets and the walls than anything else. But the really, really interesting information gets into the stats section of this website. And on day one, with five builders, we had 38 months, 26 days, 14 hours. And then when it came to the laboratory, we had 65 months, 27 days, and nine hours. Well, I updated all the information. And as of today, minus the upgrades that we literally just did a few moments ago, according to this, we have with five builders is dropped down to 33 months, 14 days, and five hours. And then the laboratory is 63 months, four days, and 11 hours. So technically that would be five months reduced off of the buildings themselves in one month, I believe because we have the gold pass as well as that 12% thing that's going on with the Clash Anniversary, and we dropped two months off of the laboratory already. So I wonder what's gonna look like next month.